Bird nerds, <clears throat> how are we doing today? I'm gonna get you guys a quick video here, just give you an update <clears throat> on the progress of the birds, kind of where we're at with with all of them, and um, had some some positives, some some not so positive. So, um, trying to think here, we'll we'll kind of get we're, we're we're just gonna keep it real. Um, I want to make sure you guys see the good and the bad that can come with birds, um, or maybe not so much the bad, but just the disappointments that can happen. Um, I don't think it matters how good of a breeder you are. Um, at some point or another, you're, you're going to have birds that uh, present challenges, and, and you got to think out of the box and try and uh, mimic the best that you can, ways that will help the birds out the best and, and give them as much of a natural environment as you can to to be able to raise birds. So um, I'm just looking here at my, my society finches here on the, the white cages. You see them down there. Um, they're doing good. We've, uh, <clears throat> let me flip this around here so you guys can see it. We, uh, <clears throat> I, I've seen, so this pair and the, the next pair down below, my, my light brown pieds, I've seen the males mounting the females several times these last couple days. So I'm hoping actually, uh, maybe we'll, we'll actually get them to lay some eggs and raise their own. Um, I have put dummy eggs in their nest, but they haven't really taken to them. Uh, so I pulled the dummy, the dummy eggs out, seeing that, they, uh, they, that they've been uh, breeding uh, these last few days. So I, the hope is, is that we'll uh, maybe get them to, to lay their own eggs and, and we'll raise some uh, <clears throat> societies so that'll be that'll be really good um, I'm hoping for success there and, and for the best that we can get with our society finches so um, hopefully we'll uh, have some eggs start appearing here pretty soon with them and that they've discovered their nest this pair down here they haven't done a whole lot they're another pair of my uh, my uh, dark self societies Let's see if we can get you guys a little bit of view in there. Females on the right, males on the left. Um, he's been singing his heart out to her. She hasn't been uh, terribly receptive, receptive, but we'll see what happens there. Um, coming over here. My stars up top haven't really had a whole lot from them, but I did just put them in there last week, so I'm not expecting anything as of yet. I, I'm going to start introducing some nesting material to them. Um, just a quick update on the canaries, and, and we'll uh, give you guys a, a more in-depth video of our canaries and where we're at there with them. But um, <clears throat> baby chicks are doing really good. Mom and dad are doing a great job. In the next video that I highlight with the canaries, we're gonna be swapping out the nest pans because um, you can see they're getting really dirty. Um, so we're gonna swap that out and let you guys know what, what we're doing there. Uh, with the mosaics, she laid again and the eggs were not fertile. So like I'd mentioned in several videos before my male, he's really old um, and I was hoping that maybe we could get some fertile eggs from him, but I don't just, it's not gonna happen this year. Um, or maybe ever with him anymore. He's just um, getting pretty old. So uh, what I did do, because I didn't, I didn't want to have to mix up my pairs. So my canary, my female that uh, laid, she laid again here. She laid three eggs. I took those eggs and I put them up top. So, um, so she's sitting on Red Factor eggs. I'm just going to hatch them out and then I'm going to let her lay again and we'll just keep the pairs together and then let her finally um hatch out and raise that clutch so so we'll have a <clears throat> we'll have a lot of red factor babies and they'll, they'll all be from this pair she's she's supplied so far these other two pairs um as far as chicks go so um we'll, hopefully we can get some get some uh some good things going on there um coming in here as a quick highlight um I have had, so up here uh, in this nest box, my redhead uh, amadamias, they have laid and she's been sitting on there. She's not a terribly good sitter, 
as soon as I walk in, she jumps off the nest. Um, so she, she doesn't sit very tight. And then the next nest over, you can see they've put a paper towel there in front of it um, as nesting material. But um, the, I've got a, my shaft tail pair. They're on those eggs currently um, sitting really well, the females in there currently. So um, <clears throat> hoping for some success there. My cutthroats, they've been playing in this nest. My silver bills, they, they sit on top of the nest and, and show a lot of mating courtships, but <laughs> I don't know why they won't go in. The male did start trying to uh, build a nest in here. You can kind of see there's a little bit of nesting material up throughout there. Um, but it's just, it's just not stable enough. I don't think we'll be able to get anything. My golden finches, they hatched their chicks and tossed them all, unfortunately. And I did not get to them soon enough. So they were, uh, I found them dead on the floor. I'll, th I'll clip a picture in here for you guys to see that. So really bit, really bummed out about that. Um, one, one thing I do think that may have been the cause of this was, um, I checked their nest the day before the chicks were to hatch and it was that next day that they hatched and tossed them. And so, um, I, I wonder if it's my fault that they tossed them. I, I kind of disturbed the nest. I, I should know better. I just wanted to, that was the first time I had checked the nest. I just wanted to make sure that they were sitting on fertile eggs. Um, so now that I know that the eggs are fertile, I, I, I just won't check the nest next time they're in there. And I also, the day before they had hatched, I caught the starfinch pair and um, took them out. So I, I disturbed them quite a bit and made quite a, quite a ruckus in there. Um, <clears throat> so that definitely didn't help the case. So um, really bummed about that. Hopefully they'll uh, lay again and we'll uh, hatch out the chicks. We'll just leave them alone. They're the only ones there in the cage. So I'm just not even gonna touch it uh, while they're while they're in there and see if hopefully they will uh, hatch and raise their chicks. And then down here, um, I've got my scarlet my scarlet breasts in there. I've got some uh, parrot finches. I, I actually have one of my parrot finches that have been, been staying in the nest box quite a bit. So I, I think they may have uh, nested. Um, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna disturb it any. Um, so I've got two that hang up there and then I've got two others that hang down there under, behind that plant. You can see the one jumping around there. So um, we're just going to leave that as is in hopes that uh, maybe we can uh, get some parrot finches going there um, and get some, some babies and some, some new bloodlines going around. Parrot finches are super hard to, to come by in, in Utah. Not, not very many breeders uh, are successfully breeding them currently, so definitely very hard to come by. Um, up top in here, um, you can kind of see through the wire, I've got my yellow-bodied starfinches in there, so I just left the pair in there. The female, she keeps dropping eggs on the ground. Um, <clears throat> so so I've, I've, tr I've done something, I've, I've moved the nest boxes around a little bit, I put some different nesting material in there to maybe try and attract them more to the to the nest box in hopes that maybe uh, she'll take she'll take one and, and uh, start laying eggs in there and breeding there. So and I don't keep finding eggs on the ground. So hopefully we can get something going there. Um, kind of kind of bummed there that she's she's dropping them but not in the nest unfortunately. And then up top here, so we've got here in this this far left nest box, we've got another pair of shaft tails in there. Uh, they're they're diligently sitting. I have not checked them to see if they're fertile or not. Um, I probably won't, um, just because in the past I have had my shaft tails toss their babies. So just gonna um, try and keep them as they are, in hopes that they will hatch and raise their chicks. I have had in my in my old shed. Um, my shaft tails raised several clutches of, of finches in the aviary setting with, uh, and I didn't check the nest boxes once and they did, they did a good job there. So, um, and then I do have in the, the next next box over. So right here, I do have my yellow bodied Goldian hen. She's currently laying eggs in there. Um, hopefully those will be fertile and, um, we can get them to 
to raise them as well. I'm debating if I want to throw those under society finches and just foster them out, or if I give them a chance in the aviary setting to, uh, to breed or, you know, to try it on their own. So we'll see what happens there. And then down here, I've got my, my rosy bork pear trio, really. I need to take the one female out. So this is my, my opaline fallow, uh, female. She has laid eggs and, and is, has been sitting in the nest. Problem is, is I'm 100% sure they're not fertile because I haven't seen the male pay any attention to her. So I, I need to go into the nest box and remove the eggs um, in hopes that maybe they'll connect again as far as maybe trying to breed, but we'll see what happens there. Not a whole lot of action has happened. I do have a pair of Goldian finches in there um, and also I have a, my orange headed amadamias. They have laid eggs. Um, they weren't fertile when I checked them. Um, <clears throat> what I need to do is, is pull the eggs out and then let them lay again and I'll probably foster them. Um, just haven't gotten to that point yet. So I do have down here some, some good success at my, I've got my trio of society finches. You can see all three of them are, all three of them are in the nest. Um, they're currently sitting on about seven eggs in there and five of the seven are fertile. So I was going to give it a couple more days just to make sure if if those others were fertile. If they're not, I'll pull those eggs out just to, so they're only sitting on five eggs. Um, but we've kind of got a mix in there. Um, I pulled them out of two nest boxes. They're either cutthroat eggs, they're either redhead amadamia eggs, and I'm pretty sure I saw I have a couple uh, Goldian finch eggs in there. Um, I've never had my societies raise separate species at the same time. If it's the cutthroat babies and the redhead amadamias, they're, they're from the same uh, family genus. So their chicks look very similar. So I'm not worried about those ones, uh, but I am worried about the Goldian finch. I'm uh, not sure what's gonna happen there, if, if they'll raise all of them together or if they'll ne neglect one or the other. So we'll see what happens. Uh, fingers crossed that they'll raise them all um, and that we won't have any issues, but that's, Kind of the rough update that we've got here on the, the good old birdies. Um, see my beautiful female. She is a, I know she's just gray. She doesn't have striking colors, but I think she's beautiful. She's a good looking bird. So hopefully uh, we'll get them to hatch their chicks out about first of next week is when they should be hatching. And uh, we'll have some more canary chicks to share with you guys. Okay, we'll see you next time. Appreciate it guys.